Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can set up a pop-up with Elementor so that it will open on a button click. And it's very easy to do once you know how to do it. But if you haven't done it before and you want to set it up, then it can be quite difficult to find out how to do that. So in this tutorial, I will walk you through step by step and I will show you exactly how you can set it up. So as you can see, now I am logged in into the WordPress dashboard of my website. And the first thing to do is to create a pop-up if you haven't done that before. And good to know is that you need the Elementor Pro version to create pop-ups. With the free version, you won't have this option, so keep that in mind. First of all, you have to go to the menu on the left. There you will see Elementor. And in other tutorials, I have showed you how you can install and set up Elementor. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure to check that out. But if you have Elementor installed, you can see an option right here and below that you can see the templates option. And what you need to do is you have to hover over it with your mouse, then go to the pop-ups option and click on it. As you can see, at this point I haven't had a pop-up yet, so that's the first thing I have to do. So I'll click on the green button, add new pop-up. Now you can see this screen and only thing you have to do is enter a name for the pop-up. For this example, I will call it tutorial pop-up so remember the name that you give this template because you will need to remember it later on when we need to connect the pop-up to the button so tutorial pop-up is the name for this template and then you can click on create template as you can see over here you have pop-up selected and now you can scroll down and see which pop-up you like. You see a lot of templates are available with Elementor. So that's great because then you have a base to work off. So choose a pop-up you like. And in this case, I'll just go for this one. But it doesn't matter which pop-up you choose. So click on insert to add the pop-up to the canvas. And as you can see now, the template for the pop-up has been loaded. And the great thing is that you can design everything the same way as you're used to with Elementor for the pages and the post. So you can click on an element, design it, or you can add other elements. And you can style everything completely how you want it to be. But for this tutorial, I'll leave everything as it is right now. So the only thing I want to show you for this tutorial is how you can open this pop-up on a button click. So after you are done with styling the pop-up and setting up everything the way you want it to be, then the next thing you have to do is click on the green publish button. So click on the button. Now you see this screen will be loaded and over here you can set the conditions for this pop-up. And here it becomes a little bit tricky because you would assume that you would have to set it up over here, but it's not the case. So you can skip the conditions. We don't have to add a condition over here. Also for the triggers, you don't have to add any condition over here. So make sure everything is turned off and also for the advanced rules, you have to make sure to don't switch anything on. So leave everything as it is. Don't select any of the options. Only thing now you have to do is click on save and close. So do that. Here you can see the gear icon is spinning and now the pop-up is live. But we don't have set any conditions yet. So this pop-up won't show up at this point. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this pop-up will load on an button click and another thing i want to mention before i go over to that point is that you can also go over here to the responsive mode and you can make sure that everything is set up great for the tablet and the mobile devices also so it works the same way as for the pages and the post as i already mentioned but just to make sure you know how to do it is you have to click on this option over here the responsive mode icon then you see this toolbar will open up by default it's set to desktop view so that's this view over here you have the tablet view remove the navigator a little bit so you can see it better but over here you have the tablet view and as you can see everything is also fine on the tablet view and the last view is the mobile view and now you can see it looks like this and another thing i want to mention is you can see over here it's not clearly visible but you can see here a cross icon to close the pop-up and if you don't want visitors to have this option then you can go to the gear icon settings go to the close button option and you can make sure that it's not selected and now there is not a cross available to close the pop-up but over here you can see that it's now set to animation duration and that means that the pop-up will close 0.8 seconds after somebody taps on a random point of your screen besides the pop-up so it can be closed 
but this way you can remove the cross. That was a little side note. Now let me make sure to show you how to connect this pop-up to a button. So make sure everything is selected again. So don't select any of those options. Now we have to go back to the WordPress dashboard and I'll go to a page. So I'll go to the home page for this example. Now you can see that the home page is loaded and I will give a quick example. I will just add a button, make sure it's a nice button. So I'll just copy this one, drag it over here, make sure it's set to the center. Of course you uh, would have to add a little spacing on the top. So do that like this. Now let me get into how you can connect the pop-up to this button. So what you need to do is you have to select the button, click on it, then make sure you go to the content tab over here. That's this icon, the first one, click on it. And over here you can see the link. And over here I have entered the link for this URL because I have copied this button. But what you have to do is you have to make sure that this link field is empty. And now what you have to do is you have to go to the second option, the dynamic tags option, click on it. Next thing you do is go to the actions option and there you can see pop-up. Click on the pop-up option and now you have to click on this icon over here with your left mouse button. Now you can see the action is open pop-up. That's uh, the case by default, so leave it as it is. But you can also choose close pop-up or toggle pop-up. But don't bother about that. Just make sure it's set to open pop-up. And now over here in this field, you can select the pop-up that we have just created. So make sure to click on it. You can see, please enter one or more characters. So if you don't remember the, na the name of the template, you can just hit the space bar and then you will see all the templates being loaded up. So at this point, I have only one template. So now you can see tutorial pop-up. And that is also the name that we have given the template. So make sure to click that. And now everything is set up as it should be. So let me show you. But first I want to save the settings. Wait for a little bit. Now go over to the dashboard again. And a quick tip I want to give you is make sure to flush the cache. So how you can do that is Go to the SG Optimizer option, go to the caching option that you can see over here, click on it, and over here you can purge cache. So make sure to do that because if that's not the case, then sometimes when you open the website after you've done the changes and you've saved the settings, and it won't be visible right away, and that is because the caching is not flushed yet. So make sure to do that. And now I'm gonna open a new incognito tab I have an incognito tab over here. Now let me go to the website. So now I go to websitelearninglab.com and I hit enter. Now you can see that the page is loaded with the button that we've just added. So now let's see if it works. I'll click on the button and you can see that the pop-up now opens up. So it works perfectly. Everything is beautiful. Over here you have the cross icon. And the great thing about this setting is that it keeps opening up whenever the button is clicked. So it's not the case that the pop-up is only showed one time and after that it won't work anymore. So if I hit it again, you can see the pop-up will open up again. And I can do this on and on. So this is a very helpful feature if you want to use pop-ups on your website. So now you know how to do it. So I hope this tutorial is also helpful for you and it saves you a lot of time. So if that's the case, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it. Also click on the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded. And also make sure if you have any questions to make sure to let me know in the comments and I will answer all the questions. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you back again in the next video.